Good evening guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel, Ballstool Boys Towers. A lovely day today, it's been a beautiful day. Me and the missus spent it together, very much in love. I love my missus with all of my heart. And yeah, we had a lovely barbecue and then took the dogs out for a nice little run. And now, just come back in and I thought I'd upload a bit of uh, content for my viewers because it's you viewers what inspires me and gives me the um, motivation and inspiration to put more content on my channel. And everything what I put on my channel is straight out of the horse's mouth. Nothing is edited, nothing is pre-recorded, nothing is taken out. How you see it is how you get it. So what I want to have a little chat with you guys is about is about my book. My first book which I wrote um, in 2021 when I finished it. I started in 2020. Now, why did I start my book? There's a number of reasons why I started my first book. And a few of my followers and a few, quite a few people do ask me the same question, what made me do it? What made me do it was where I've led such a crazy lifestyle and um, I knew by writing my book it would help others not to follow my footsteps um, and inspire others and, you know, let other people know that committing crimes, taking taking drugs is far from glamorous. Now, what did it take, take to write my book? It took blood, sweat and tears and a long, long, long time. I'm talking a few years to write it. I mean, I know other authors that are producing a book every year, but to be honest with you, they're not writing their own books. They're getting their family to do it. They've got help from other teams. I've not got no help. It's just me writing my book on my own, on, on my computer, during the daytime, and I'm putting two to three hours in every single day for about four or five days a week, which I've been doing for the last year. And that's what it actually takes to write a book. So if people actually think anyone can write a book, then I'm, I'm afraid to say your book won't do no good. Because at the end of the day, you've got to put every single story in that book and you've got to elaborate on each story. So, you know, if there's 150 stories in um, in, in your book, you've got to elaborate 150 times and and you've got to put a few hundred words in each story. Um, and also, what you've got to think about, or what I had to think about, was how other people want to read the book. Um, so, you know, I'm always aware of... Um, my book is obviously going to reach quite a uh, quite a lot of the uh, corner of the earth. So it's always in the back of my mind that um, every single word needs to be gone over with a, a fine tooth comb. And um, it's far from easy writing it. But yeah, the satisfaction that it gave me. Um, and also, you know, it took up quite a lot of boredom um, when on the lockdown. When we had lockdown, that's when I started writing my book. Um, I did actually write my book way, way back in 1999 when I got my big sentence and I started it in prison and I actually bought it out. Um, but unfortunately, it got burnt in a in a accident. Um, so yeah, I had to start it, start it all over again. But yeah, there's um, there's quite a few people what like would like to write their own book um, and they think about writing their own book um, and they're inquisitive about writing their own book. Well, it's not as easy as what people think it is. You know, for one, you've got to know what you're doing on a computer. For two, you've got to have uh, plenty of savvy around different programs on the computer. Um, so it does help to have like, um, you know, to have done a course, uh, a com um, IT course or something like that, which I actually done in Wayland Prison in 2010. That's another thing. Um, I learnt myself how to, how to read and write whilst I was in prison on my last sentence. Um, and I actually took sitting guilds, went right up from one, right up to level four and five in adult literacy, adult learning, speaking, listening. Um, so I come, I come out of that, and you know, when uh, I landed, I put that, I put my um, qualifications into action, and it was then that I realised that um, maybe I should try and start to write my first book because, as I said, it's far from easy writing your own book. I mean, look at all these big. YouTubers were on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to mention our names, but they're all saying, "Yeah, my book's coming, my book's coming, my book's coming." And the reason for that is because they're not writing their own book. They're waiting for other people to write their book. Then they've got to give a percentage of their sales. So 
you know, it, it isn't the same when someone asks, when someone else writes your book for you. It is not you. It's not. It's not the same as you writing your own book. Um, because obviously you put your own stamp on your book. You put your own stamp on the story. And when people read uh, my stories, they know that it hasn't come from anyone else because the way I am, the way I carry myself. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope this video um, is giving, giving you guys a little bit of motivation and giving you a little bit of hope and uh, making you think out of the box. Nothing is impossible, you know. Um, as I said to you, if you go back on my videos, you'll see I led quite a, quite a majority of my life in prison and on drugs. And to get to this point point where I'm now, I had to wait many, many, many years until I was in my late forties until I changed my life around. And it's only now, you know, I'm 54 years of age, and all these new doors doors are opening, all these new opportunities are coming, and I'm starting to relive my life all over again. And I'll tell you what, it feels absolutely amazing, guys. But yeah, for those that you um, that has uh, bought my book, and there's quite a few of my followers that have bought my book. Thank you very much for your support, um, and it means so much. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. But for anyone that wants to actually purchase my first book, um, you can you can comment underneath this video and we can get it sorted out because I've got copies at home and I'll sign I'll, I'll send them out signed next day delivery. Um, and I've sold probably over I don't know two thousand books sent out um, over the last couple of years, guys. But um, this is the front page of my um, my first book, guys. So yeah, to do this, this was a mission and a half, let me tell you, and it is far from easy. I've put a little tribute, the prologue reads, I had a pair of ovals on and a black balaclava holding a semi-automatic pump action shotgun. I got out of the car and pulled my balaclava down. I walked into the post office and shouted, everyone get down the floor. I then walked straight up to the main, main counter, pointing the gun onto the security glass. I aimed at the gun and the cashier's head and said, hand the money over. The manager come to the screen and started pushing out the rolls of money from the main till. So guys, you can see... It, pick, it starts, the action starts straight from the prologue of my book. Um, and I strongly advise everyone getting it. This is the Ballstall Boy poem on the back of it. Um, here's the back page. So, that's obviously me. So yeah, this is the reason why um, really that I concentrate and I upload quite a lot of content on my YouTube channel. Um, it's all for a reason and that's... You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's for a few reasons. Not for one reason. It's for awareness, for one. For two, it's for, um, you know, to put a few pennies in my pocket. Um, so I've got reasons why I upload content. Uh, and that is why I always keep it real. I don't underestimate anyone whatsoever. I give everyone respect. And, you know, I don't bad, I don't bad mouth anyone because, you know, I'm on YouTube for, for a reason, guys. And that's to help other people. So, guys... I hope, I hope everyone has a great evening. I hope you all, all have, a, have a good weekend. Much, much respect to everyone. Peace.